What's the Rams game plan in uh, New Orleans this weekend? What should it be? I think that they're going to try to probably start out like they did against the Cowboys. That was the single most stunning result of the weekend to me, Dan. And by the way, the other thing is that I, I just can't believe we, we had to have seen, what, like 24 down attempts this weekend? Yeah. I mean, the NFL has changed, man. That, that so many of the times they go for fourth down, they would not have done that, you know, five, ten years ago. I mean, there was it seemed like three or four or five almost every game. But other than that, my other big takeaway was – the team that won the battle up front won every game, but it wasn't necessarily predictive, right? Like I, I would have thought the Colts were better up front than the chiefs. That was clearly not the case in that game. And I would have thought the Cowboys were better up front than the Rams and the Rams ran it right down the Cowboys throat. So even though we know that the team that wins up front usually wins, it's not as predictive as maybe we thought it was certainly how I thought it would go in those games. I think the Rams, We'll probably start out seeing if they can run the ball at the Saints, especially since they lost Sheldon Rankins. But the Saints have had pretty good run defense throughout the year. So if that's not working, that's the beauty of kind of McVay and what the Rams have. They can change it up and go to the air and probably try to attack the Saints' safeties. But, I mean, if you rush for almost 300 yards yeah. with both running backs against a pretty good run defense in the Cowboys, I'd at least try that first. If I were the Rams. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.